In October, we attended the Daniel Lecture to hear Professor Tom Welton deliver his presentation on chemistry for a cleaner world. And it was brilliant. The event was designed for A-level students and for many it had been their first experience of a university style lecture. A huge lecture theatre with theatre style seating and fold out tables for those who chose to take notes. And those of you who did take notes may have missed something. Professor Tom Welton is the Dean of the Faculty of Natural Sciences at Imperial and is the world's first professor of sustainable energy and he spoke from the heart. We had heard that he had a connection with school students and it was fantastic. You could see the whole lecture theatre was engaged and paying attention to what he had to say. We've just started our A-level chemistry course, but we immediately recognised the importance of the points raised and the issues such as atom economy, recycling, upcycling and reusing materials and the importance of reducing the waste products from commercial scale chemical engineering. But amongst all the facts and graphics, two important issues struck home. Professor Tom is on a mission. He's on a mission to inspire A-level students to become the next generation of chemists and chemical engineers. He explained that we had a job to do. We live in a world of finite resources and our dependency on oil needs to change. He expects the next generation of chemists to unlock the potential for generating more energy from sustainable fuel sources especially biofuels. This is the point he drove home towards the end of the lecture. But we mentioned there was a second issue, and here it is. We live in a society that wastes so much, and he gave us one amazing example, which obviously is a personal issue for him. We all have experience of helium balloons. When we were younger, we had them at birthday parties, and now we are older, we use helium balloons to give ourselves temporarily squeaky voices. It's as if we go through life thinking there are only one use for helium, but they're not. Helium is an inert gas. It will not react with anything and might arguably seem useless, except when it comes to birthdays and celebrations, but is, is actually used to cool down the electromagnets in MRI scanners. When most people go to A&E, the attending doctor can usually tell what is wrong by observing and asking a few questions. They may also run some tests and check your vital signs, heartbeat, blood pressure and temperature. If it is more serious, you may need an x-ray. X-rays are single flat images. For routine procedures, they do the job. But every now and then, when things get really serious and a surgeon wants to find out what things look like inside, you need an MRI scan. And MRI scanners use electromagnets, which can overheat and the coolant is helium. Each MRI scanner needs 10,000 litres of helium to function. So, where's the problem? Helium is mined. It's found with natural gas. We have a finite supply of helium. We cannot make it and we cannot ship it in. When it runs out, that's it. Back in 2012, it was predicted that we had about 20 to 30 years supply left. Back in 2012, medical professionals were discussing ways in which we could reduce the use of helium. They were thinking about when it would be acceptable for surgeons to do operations without knowing exactly what your insides look like. They were thinking about having to switch off MRI scanners. This doesn't mean that surgeons would be going in blind, but would you want a surgeon to start an operation without knowing what to expect once he or she cut you open? And this has everything to do with the lecture. We don't just need to focus on recycling and reusing and upcycling. Sometimes we have to think about what we are doing in the first place. So we have to choose party balloons and squeaky voices or MRI scanners that still work by the time we get to an age when we will need to use them. And that was just a part of the powerful message that came from the 2016 Daniel Lecture. If you ever get a chance to hear Professor Tom Welton give a lecture, take it. We are science rocks. We make revision films for GCSE science and we try to put a little bit of fun into our films. But this one was different. This time we had a serious message to share. This is Science Rocks.